welcome back to Merritt's Bookshelf. Today we will be reading Gilbert the Great by Jane Clark, illustrated by Charles Fugue. <coughs> Gilbert the Great. From the time Gilbert the Great White Sharp was a tiny pup, Raymond Furrymora stuck to him like glue. Raymond was always at Gilbert's side. You can see you can see Raymond the fish and Gilbert. When Gilbert was stuck in the seaweed, Raymond untangled him. When Gilbert got dirty, Raymond cleaned him. And when Gilbert lost his first row of teeth, Raymond helped him collect them from the tooth fairy. Gilbert and Raymond had lots of fun. They loved to play finball, tide and seek, and sardines. They shared everything. Instead of playing, instead of playing hide and seek, they play tide and seek because there's a tide in the ocean. Then one day, Raymond told Gilbert that his family had to move across the ocean. I don't want to go, but Mom says I have to, cried Raymond. As Raymond and his family swam away, Gilbert's mother hugged him tight and tried to comfort him. Gilbert seemed really big to me, but his mom is huge. Raymond's my best friend, said Gilbert. Why did he have to go away? It's not fair. I know, said Mom, but his family could but his family couldn't just leave him behind. She she kissed Gilbert on the snout. Go and play tide and seek with the with the pilot fish. It will keep your mind off, Raymond. But Gilbert couldn't stop thinking about his friends. I want to move with Raymond, Gilbert said. He moved to far away, said. He moved too far away, said Mom. We have to stay here. Let's go watch the basketball game. The thrashing threshers are, are playing the Heidel Tigers. Who do you think will win? Gilbert looked around. There were Romoras everywhere, but none of them were Ra he was Raymond. I don't care, he said, and he swam off before either side scored a basket. It's my fault, Raymond moved. Gilbert snapped as he passed an eel. Last week I called him a sucker. You didn't make Raymond leave, Mom smiled. Everyone fights sometimes. The clownfish did their best to cheer Gilbert up, but nothing could make him smile. The next day at school, everyone was very kind to Gilbert. They even gave him an extra long turn on the seesaw. Cheer up, said Marvin and Mallet. There are plenty of fish in the sea. There isn't another Raymond, said Gilbert.
On here, they spelled seesaw different. They spelled, they spelled it S-E-A. And I think it's supposed to be S-E-E. -E. Seesaw. Gilbert was still sulking when Mom came to collect him from school. It's not the same without Raymond, Gilbert pouted. That night, Gilbert cried and cried and cried, and his warm tears mingled with the cold ocean water. The next morning, Mom took Gilbert gently by the fin and toward and towed him into shallow water. Rocked by the gentle waves, they gazed out, the, out at the seashore and the bright blue sky. I hope Raymond's new home is as, is as nice as this, said Gilbert. I'm sure it is, said Mom. There's a little sloth climbing on the tree, or maybe that's a monkey, it's hard to tell. It might be a sloth, it might be a monkey, I don't know. I'm hungry, Gilbert said suddenly. We'll go to the wreck, said Mom. Gilbert's eyes lit up. They didn't usually go to the wreck. Mom didn't like him eating junk food. The wreck is just a wreck, but, but I think it's supposed to be like a restaurant or something. And when it said junk food, it meant actual junk as food. Scrunch, munch, crunch. As Gilbert was biting into a pile of tin cans and bits of old oat, he spotted a small remora crying in the shadows. Gilbert stopped crunching and swam towards her. Gilbert asked. Mom and I moved and I had to leave my shark behind, she sobbed. Now I don't have any friends. My remora had to move too, said Gilbert sadly. I'm so lonely. Gilbert and the remora looked at each other and smiled. Wobbly smiles. I'm Gilbert, said Gilbert. I'm Rita, replied the remora. Just then, a ray of sunlight filtered through the deep blue ocean. Gilbert's teeth flashed as he grinned a huge grin. Do you want to play finball with me, Rita? He asked. Sunlight danced in Rita's eyes. I'd love to, she said. And the two new friends swam off to find a ball to play with. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye.